on this planetary system. And so moving from there, what I definitely want to talk about now is I want to talk about what is the real reason a person is here. Many times we've asked ourselves this question, and what generally happens is we give ourselves the answer that fits us best at that moment. Generally, what that has a tendency to do has a tendency to be is I'm here to learn, I'm here to have, share my life and have my life experience. I'm just living life, and many of these type of responses are what people generally have when you ask them, "Hey, why why are you here?" But the fact of the matter is there's many of us that feel the edge in not being able to go into our higher level of being that we've already discovered exists, and many of us have already felt the sensations that are accompanied with that. And so our biggest question to the world is why is the world not allowing us to take advantage of our spiritual power and our spiritual being that's much more connected with all of the, the nature and much more connected with who we really are as, as beings just in general and entities. And what we discover is is that instead of giving ourselves the kind answer that everything will work itself out, out, thousands of years have gone by and man has pretty much remained stagnant, that we can even conceive of inventions in our own mind that if applied to our world would take our world to an entirely different level and decrease much of the suffering and pain that's taking place. But even the most intelligent forums, such as IBM, Sony, different factions, have no consideration for the society or to implement anything that's been discovered within the past. So we ask ourselves, why is this happening? So this is the actual crossroads. Any individual that's not trying to tell themselves the truth will immediately say it's all about for a reason and it's supposed to take care of itself and let me just go back to sleep. But a real person is going to start to investigate and really get the answer to those questions. And then they start to open up a whole different Pandora box of information that literally leads down a rabbit hole and gives them one information that sets them up as a hangman and turns life around on them and turns everyone in their life against them when they try to stand up for it. And then we can now come to a time where all of that is over, where man can actually stand up and begin to tell the truth, that he can actually say what he has learned in the occult world and what it really presents, but we find some still are keeping their mouths shut and, and making it others' responsibility to tell people on this planet exactly what's necessary for them to do. And it's really because no one wants to really bear the burden anymore. No one wants to be responsible for telling people information that they can't handle. And then the mind control just as soon as make a person go back to sleep and tell them that it's not really happening. But while all this was happening, we were continuously getting stronger because this is not the first time this has happened. This has happened for years. This has happened for aeons, and that's the only reason why we're actually remembering now. Because it's now the time to act. It's time to activate. It's exactly what the minds were saying. They said at this time that we were going to know then in the world that it was time to activate. And this January we experienced all of our birds and all of our fish dying. And it didn't matter why. It didn't matter if we were, it was our technology. It didn't matter if it was the aliens. It didn't matter. They just because they're a fractal of us, they said something. And how many people heard? Because did they go back into their old New Age movement, state of mind? Well, it's all going to work out. It's all a hologram. Even if it is a hologram, you can't protect, you won't protect a hologram that's dying in front of you because it's pulling on your, your pain and your energy. So what have we really learned? So we find out that man's mind and woman's mind wasn't capable of comprehending all the information at one time because... They didn't have enough energy going through their body. The brain and the aura and all of what we consist of powers up. It begins to power up according to how much energy we stop having leech from us. And we begin to store that energy, and that energy starts to store up and it starts to build up. And then how we choose to give that energy is going to determine what direction we perpetuate into. It's like what we do with our thrust in the direction that we're going. So as I've been thrusting to, through the galaxy of information 
from every single planet. I could tell you what's going on there, what the things are like, what they're doing. I still found that there were very few that were interested in assisting the human race in what they needed to do because it was their situation. It was a major part of their emancipation and graduation into being not children, and I'll explain this to you. Just because your mother and your father is doing something that they're telling you it's okay to do doesn't mean that you can't turn away from doing it. We have to understand that. We have to understand that when one gets as a, they said, when I was a child, I thought as a child. That means you're under the command of something else. But when you get grown, you got to get away from any idealism that's not going to work for you. Now, I'll tell you, all of these spiritual leaders and politicians and things are directly related in some way to you. So they, because they are elders, many of them, and older, some even been crossing two or three hundred years, they're in essence our fathers and mothers. But just because they're making a decision doesn't mean that we have to let them make that decision for us and go with that decision. And that's literally what's at stake here. Because we're trusting other people to make decisions for us, and we don't haven't even tapped into what, where is the world really going? We're up almost for bid with the situation that's taking place here on Earth. Because the humans are not getting involved, so we're going to show people how to get involved. And we're going to show people how to exactly comprehend what's happening so when they see something, they can move faster than they normally move. And this gets into the vibratory frequency, and that's where we'll begin today's post. We're now uh, 30 minutes in, and uh, I wanted to give a brief moment for me to get some water and to clear the airways real fast. And then at that point, that we're going to get it right into this. And also, if you want to have any questions, they can go ahead and type those questions in the